OK, I'm experimenting with Slayer's new exciter circuit and this is the setup I've got today. I've got the L1 coil, which is the copper coloured coil, and that's inside a slinky spring. Now the slinky spring is acting as a variable L2 coil. Now I've also got a small capacitor out of an old radio and that is across the coil and that's for fine tuning. Now the circuit's running and it's drawing 18 milliamps and I'm using one of these 1.5 volt emergency phone chargers to power the circuit. And I'm lighting a fluorescent. Now I'm not using the normal inputs for the fluorescent, which is the end bits, uh, or lighting it wirelessly. I'm using a coil of wire wrapped around it and the HV from L1 comes out and then into one side of that coil and I've just got the other end dangling, it's doing nothing at the moment. Anyway, that's lighting up the uh, fluorescent and uh, it's on 20 milliamps. Now, I'll start moving uh, these leads towards the right. If you move them towards the left, it decreases the current and towards the right, it increases the current. I have one lead fixed at that end and that stays there permanently. Now, I, I leapfrog these two leads from coil to coil and that, that does the adjustment. So I'll start moving it and you can see the, uh, the fluorescent increase in brightness. I'll move it again. It's quite adjustable. You can adjust it right down to uh, like maybe 10 milliamps. And uh, that's lighting the fluorescent quite well. Now there's an interference pattern in that fluorescent tube. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but I can see it with my eye. Now when I tune this uh, capacitor, that changes uh, the interference pattern. And it goes faster or slower. But uh, I find that very interesting. I'm not too happy with this coil because it's a bit small for the size of the slinky spring. So I think it would benefit from uh, you know a much bigger L1 coil inside there to bring it you know closer to the sides of uh, the slinky. But uh, an interesting experiment all the same. Okay, thanks for watching.